Welcome back to the Saints Madden franchise. This is the final week of the regular season. Saints versus Falcons in the Dome. Now we are 15-1. and one. We have clinched everything you can clinch. We are just getting to the playoffs. So in this game, we're going to try and win. No doubt about it. We're going to try and destroy the Falcons. But we are going to start Jameis Winston. I don't want Derek Carr to get injured. We already are down Alave and Kamara. We have to wait until the Super Bowl. We have to get to the Super Bowl for both of them to come back. So... Again, Madden Saints franchise has been firing off. The offense is finally playing well. I mean, we have been absolutely rolling the last couple of games. We've just been going nuts. Everything is working, whether it's uh, Kendra Miller. And a lot of people, here's another thing. A lot of people in the comments are saying it's Ken Dre Miller. Listen, Ken Dre Miller, in real life, if y'all remember, Ken Dre Miller, he's the one who had 3.7 yards to carry. Okay, Ken Dre Miller is the superstar MVP caliber player who's averaging over six yards a carry. All right, we're going to return here. So you may be saying, James, I thought you were going to take uh, Derek Carr out. I am. I wanted to start him. I didn't want to mess up his morale by benching him. I didn't I didn't know if that would, you know ha had any effect on the game. So we are benching Derek. Uh, we're getting Jameis Winston involved. Again, this is strictly for, you know, just this is just so Derek doesn't get hurt because I, I think we can navigate things without, without Olave and Kamara. But if we didn't have Derek Carr as well, we'd be in some serious trouble. Hey, 11, nice block. Where's 11 going? I mean, who, who, no, no blocking at all from 11 right there. So Jameis gets a shot here. This is going to be interesting. Again, we want to win the game, no doubt, but we also just want to get to the playoffs, no injuries, and move on with the season. And we're going to have that first round bye. You know, important to remember, we have the first round bye, uh, which is awesome. So, oh. Jamal. If you remember last week, uh, Jamal was doing his things against the Buccaneers. We had, we had the best game of the season against the Bucs. No doubt about it. Against the Buccaneers, we were absolutely unreal. If we play like that, we will win the Super Bowl for sure. All right, Big Mike. Looking for Big Mike. There he is. Good stuff. Good job, Jameis. Good throw. All right. Yep, that's on you. Understood. Understandable. Yeah, I mean, look at these injuries. Brian Brzee out for the game. I didn't even realize that. Brzee's out. Uh, we got uh, or Orgy is uh, hip bursitis. We got to play him. He's a 60-something overall. I mean, it, the injuries are crazy. What has been an interesting debate is the idea... I probably should run the ball here. Yeah, I should have ran the ball. Let's see if we can switch to a run. Yep. Third and twos, pick it up. Jamal's the man. Wow. Okay. The interesting debate is, are we winning because it's on all pro, which is the second to highest it can go, or have we just been really good in one possession games? Because if you really think about it, the games have been super entertaining. We have come out on top, but Minnesota, last second win. Indianapolis, last second win. So... You know, a couple coin flips here and there. We're a nine-win team, ten-win team. So part of me thinks, you know what, we've been fortunate with those results, but it's been a very entertaining game. So and I'm just speaking for next season. You know, what will we play on all pro? Will we play on all Madden? I don't want to put on all Madden and, and have a bunch of nine to six games or a bunch of three nothing games. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's get Jamal involved in the screen here. And I do, I will say, I do. Oh, what a move from Jamal. That was a Kendra Miller-esque move. I am probably, I, I, in my mind, I'm going to lean towards running Jamal this game just to try and kind of keep Kendra, uh, Kendra's legs fresh. That's my idea. I want to kind of keep his legs fresh, even though we do get a bye week. Like, that's something else I got to remember. The taste of this. Oh, my God. Set, oh, Trevor Penning. Trevor Penning just looked like Bill Goldberg. Unbelievable from Trevor. That, that was the greatest block in Trevor Penny's career. Watch this. So he blocks there. Watch his shoulder charge. Bop, get some. Trevor. Okay. I mean, that play was opened up. That play was big time opened up. We can't audible out of this, which is never never cool. Let's see what happens. I mean, I don't really have a choice. Oh, we're, we're moving. We're moving. I'll take it. I'll take it. So after this game... You know, like I said, we get a bye, and then we're hosting the division. Well, I mean, we have right, we have uh, home field throughout, but then we 
get into our first game hosting the divisional round. Very exciting. A little playoff atmosphere in the dome. Gotta love it. Dump. Good job, Jameis. Good job, Jameis. Probably should have cut in. Probably should have cut in. Whatever. All right, let's go. Let's go I formation, halfback stretch. I like it. And our first meeting, the Falcons game, is really what kind of kicked the season off. Adam, oh, Jamal. That's what really kind of kicked the season off because, you know, we were, we were playing okay, but once the Falcons game happened, we just took off. I mean, we absolutely exploded after that game. And we just became the greatest team ever, pretty much. Oh, Jameis, there it is, baby. Jameis touchdown to Shahid. Good stuff. Let's go, baby. I mean, what a, what a drive. What a drive. Never in doubt. Jameis whips it. Shahid, easy catch. Easy touchdown. That was off an audible, too. People are saying I don't audible. I don't audible on a hot route all the time. All the time, I hot route. I mean, what? look at that audible. 60 pinch. I see it at the line of scrimmage. Boom, boom, boom. Quick slants. Bada bing, bada boom. Realest guy in the room. I mean, just Tempo, Taysom, Jamal, Jameis, Rashid, touchdowns. We're excited in the dome. Dome dogs are flowing. Bloody Marys are flowing. Arthur Smith looks like absolute trash. This is what life's all about. I'm excited. I mean, what a season. What a team. It's just amazing the evolution we've had throughout the season. Because when we started the season, when we started the season, our offense was horrific. Derek Carr was bad. The offense was bad. We were scoring nine, ten points a game. I mean, it just wasn't there. And now, I mean, we are just such a different team. Such a different team. And the, the one thing that has been constant is the defense. The defense has been crazy. All right, we're going to come out just heavy, heavy against the run. And, but what has developed, oh, Kalen. Oh, Kalen Saunders blew. Uh, I, was about, I was about to have a pause there. About to have a big time pause there. But the one thing that's kind of changed with the defense is how much better the pass rush has been. Like we, I mean, at Matt Stafford, like he, we really got after the quarterback last game. And that's not something we were doing early on. Oh my God, guys. I was just, I was just talking good about the defense. And then you let this happen? You let a 44 yard pass? Where were we in, man? One robber press and we let the, the slot guy just get wide open. Yuck. Come on, fellas. All right, we're going to blitz here. We're going to blitz on the early downs. So we're going to try and, uh, you know, that's our strategy. Our strategy is blitz early, shut down the run. Oh, yeah. Zach. That's Zach Bond, baby. A newly newly signed Philadelphia Eagle, Zach Bond. Good sack there. But, yeah, the strategy has been the same pretty much all year. We blitz early, try and stop the run, try and get these bad quarterbacks in the third and six, third and seven, third and long scenarios, and then uh, take care of business after that. Cordero Patterson. Okay. Bop. Get some. Hate, hate that. Hate, hate giving up a 11-yard carry there. Crazy play call. In second and 18, you run an inside zone. Okay. All right, let's go cover three buzz press. I will play as Cam Jordan. I'm, I'm trying to get the sack here. Yeah. Oh, the bull rush is there, baby. Bijan whiffed on a... Uh, he was supposed to be helping out. Completely whiffed on that. What a bull rush by Cam. Good job. All right, they're settling for the field goal. Sure. You know, I saw some interesting stats here about the Atlantic kicker. So, oh my God, we just destroyed the... What? Why did we do that? Personal foul, roughing the kicker, defense. Ugo. That is that is outrageous. Watch this from Ugo Amadi. I mean, he absolutely blows him up. He's on the he's on the left. Just crunch, crunch. I mean, look at that. Oh, off the knee, backbreaker. Oh my God, that's a WCW Nitro move. I mean, Ugo Amadi blows him up. Boom, right there. I mean, unbelievable. The backbreaker, the tag team move from he Taylor Heineke. Ugo Amadi, I mean, this is like the uh, the Dungeon of Doom. Look at this. It's a, it's a Bubba Ray and Devon Dudley here. Ugo Amadi, bam. Taylor Heineke's waiting. 
Taylor Heineke turns turns on him, turns heel. Backbreaker. Oh, back snaps, lower lumbar. Floating in the air. Kind of a kind of a gentle kind of fell gently, but I mean unbelievable. I mean, look at this. But bam. Wow. I mean, I I will say this. That was absolutely roughing the kicker. I mean, if, I mean, if there was ever a roughing the kicker that should have been about 30 yards of penalties, it was that one. That was that was really I mean, that was Ugo, what are we doing? You gotta be better there. Yeah. Man, I mean that is just such a mental mental mistake. You know, for a long and they get a field goal, whatever, and then you extend the play like that. I hate to see that. That was that was really bad. Alright, cover one hole is what we got burned on last time. Running it again. A little nervous. Alright, Cam Jordan, nice. Whew, horrible throw. That's the Desmond Ritter we know and love. That's that I mean that is Desmond Ritter to a T. Alright, let's do cover two drop. And then we go into the second quarter. Come on, boys. Third and seven, hold him. Get him back into a field goal. Kalen Saunders getting double teamed. Step up, boys. Fellas. Peace. In reality, you absolutely go for this if you're Atlanta. 100 percent You definitely go for this. You, you never kick this if you're Atlanta. Let's see what they do. Dennis Allen's fired up. They're going. They're kicking it. Yeah, you, you definitely, you definitely go for this. This is an insane decision to kick. Fourth and inches. You're down seven. You're on the five. Last game of the season. Yeah, man. That was. Uh, I would call that a mistake from Arthur Smith, which is no surprise. Which is why he's. Which is why he's fired. So, yeah. All right, Jameis, get back out there. So no harm, no foul, uh, and there there certainly was a foul, but you know it didn't lead to a touchdown, which is which is the main thing. Is that Ugo Amadi returning kicks? So Rashid Shahid is not returning kicks. I guess because he's now the number two receiver. I'm guessing that's how that worked out. All right, let's get uh, Kendra Miller involved. Let's get him involved on this halfback stretch here. All right. Get on down there, Kendra. Go ahead. Adam, uh, Adam Prentice completely just nothing. Gave up on it. It's okay. It's all right. Don't worry about it, Adam. Now let's do the good old-fashioned play-action comeback slide. I'm just going to kind of call the game as I would with Derek Carr and see if Jameis can, can make it happen. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. That timing, very nice. Good job, Rasheed. Ran out of bounds. Good job. Don't don't take the contact. you got to play off the play. I, would, I will say I am probably most concerned about... I'm probably most concerned about Rasheed taking over basically Chris Olave's routes. That's a huge drop off. Huge drop off. Shahid was such a, I mean, uh, a lot of it was such a short, like, I mean, he was, he's a superstar. So to go from him to Shahid is a bit of a drop. So I'm trying to get Shahid some work here, trying to get comfortable with him. Different, you know, different ball with Jameis instead of Derek, but I mean, Kendra involved. Adam. Man, if Prentice gets after the linebacker there, it was, it was just one-on-one. -on -one. I was hoping the linebacker would crash on Prentice and the hole. Uh, and then I would go to the outside. All right. Uh, let's do the good old-fashioned play-action cross. A bread-and-butter player of ours. Rasheed should be open. Can Jameis deliver? He is open. And Jameis does deliver. And Rasheed, oh, Rasheed. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, no, he's good. Okay. I saw the ball. I was like, no, wait, drop that. That, that was that might have been that been, might have been I might not have enough you know chalk on my thumb that might have been me getting Rashid out of bounds there All right, Kendra Adam cut it up oh Kendra oh All right, Atlanta's doing our, all right holding uh, Kendra Miller down which is not easy to do I will say All right, let's do the 95 Mike All right yep they're packing the house they're packing the house but you know you can you can pack the house against Kendra Miller. We'll see how that far that gets you. Oh, it's going to get him far. Oh, Kendra, I thought he was going to bounce in the middle. Damn. All right. All right now. All right now. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. Let's get uh, let's get the taste and play going. We're going to line up the taste and play. If it's open, we're going to run it. If it is not open, then we are going to call a timeout. That's what we're going to do. All right, it's open. 
Well, we could throw. No, no, they have three. They have three DBs out there. The two guys are kind of masking each other. All right, come on, Taysom, get there. No, oh, Taysom. Oh, what a play. What a play. Taysom shrugs off the defender. Shrugs off the defender, walk-in touchdown. Look at this, gets, hits the, gets hit, clean shot, boom. Shrugs it off. A lot of power, a lot of power there. Taysom, love to see that. All right, two for two on possession. I mean, we're flying. But again, our offense has been so efficient. And this is, this is kind of what I want to see out of the Clint Kubiak system where, you know, the offense is so efficient that it really doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter who's in, who's where, the personnel, you know, it's just plug and play, next man up. And that's kind of how our offense feels right now. It feels like we could have anybody. You know, if this was the team, the way the offense is running, I feel confident we're going to put up points in the playoffs. Now, we are playing, oh, Zach Bond, my God, untouched. Zach Bond gets up. I mean, look at that. Look at the play calling. Free fire. Perfect blitz into the inside zone. I, I see things. All right, cover three. Here we go. One, Kalen. Oh, you got me on the hard count. Oh, Kalen with the rip. Kalen. That, I mean, that's, that's why Ritter, that's why, that's why Kirk Cousins is now the quarterback in Atlanta right there. If you needed a reason, that's it right there. Cover two. I'm Cam Jordan. We're going after Ritter here. Big time pass rush down. Oh, Cam. Oh. There it is. Punt. Throw it away. And Ritter has completed one pass for 44 yards. All right, who's back there? Hadi? Shahid's back there. Okay, so Shahid is still returning punt. Go Shaheed. Oh my god. 44 was absolutely cruising. I will give 44 that. Let's, let's throw a deep ball. Let's throw a deep ball here. Let's do the play action cross. Alright, the safety shaded over. Ah, uh, Michael, that's kind of the wrong side. Uh, it's kind of, kind of the wrong situation. Shaheed. Boom. Burner. Burner. Jameis is balling. 7 for 8, 123 and touchdown. He's kind of doing his thing. All right, flanker drive. We're going we're gonna to do a quick look from Mike, see what the safety does, and then hit Shahid. All right, it's going to be Shahid, easy. Gonna, kind of an interesting throw. Kind of an interesting throw, a little behind him, a little bit of like a screwball type situation, but I'll take it. All right, now we have back stretch. Like what I'm seeing. I would like I would like a nice run here from uh, Kendra. Yeah. Oh, there it is, Adam. Oh, Kendra, that's a touchdown. That's a touchdown. That's a Kendra Miller touchdown. Diving in there. Oh, he got got hit late. He got hit late. Look, look at the thighs. Look at the quads. Oh, not the heads or tails. Not the heads or tails. Unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, beautiful run there. Kendra gets to the corner, dives in, gets hit late. Questionable uh, you know, morality, ethics from the Atlanta Falcons there. Our, I mean, the offense is nuts. I mean, you got to admit, guys, the last, what, four games, we've been just unstoppable offensively. And we're playing without Kamara. We're playing without Alave. Right now we're playing with, without Carr. Jameis is lighting it up. Jameis has looked good. I'll say that. He's looked good for sure. I'm trying to think what the incompletion was. Because he's got one incompletion. I'm trying to think what it was. Alright, we're blitzing. Eh, we're gonna we're gonna kill the blitz because there's no running back back there. Just drop back. No reason to get cute. I was about to say, no way. I mean, come on. Marcus May taunting on the sidelines. It is, I will say though, like this this regular season coming to an end. It, it does give me some time to look at this roster and reflect and just wonder, like, who's going to be here next year? Cam! Cam! Oh, Cam! Cordero. There's a lot of names, a lot of numbers, a lot of faces that probably won't be here because of the cap. But, we, we I mean, that's an off-season thing. We, we, we got a long way to go before we're looking at that. 
will no huddle from Atlanta. I'm in a good defense for this. I would love some sacks from Cam. Ritter's starting to show some evasiveness. I mean, oof, oof. I would show every high school quarterback in the nation that throw right there and say, hey, do not do this. Do not do a cross your body throw to the middle of the field to absolutely nobody. That's how, you, that's how it gets picked off. All right. Man, if we could get the ball back or force a turnover or something here, we will really open this game up. Nice. Guys, the defense has been lulled to sleep or something. Now, all of a sudden, Desmond Ritter's finding his receivers. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Let's go to the nickel. Let's go Tampa 2. So, Derek taking a breather. I like that. Derek's taking a nice breather. You know, enjoying the game. Admiring his work. Admiring the regular season success we've had. The culture shift with me running the show. Very happy. Very happy to see here we go. Second and six. Cam. Boom. Oh, what a bull rush. Desmond. Desmond's got a little... He's got that quick move. Desmond's got a little escapability in the pocket. All right. We'll go 4-6. Ah, we'll go 4-3. I was going to go 4-6, but they're still in a... You know, obviously a passing situation, so I don't want to get stuck in a 4-6 in, in the no huddle. All right. Third and six. Cam. Boom. Okay. No way. No way. You're telling me he's going to make that throw? Typical Atlanta, though, that John U. Smith is the one who catches that, not Kyle Pitts. Pretty sure Kyle Pitts has yet to have a catch. Which, again, classic Atlanta. It's Kyle Pitts in the slot right there. Demario's on him. Come on, Cam. Get there. Cam, boom, bull rush. That throw, that throw is so bad. Ritter's done it like three or four times now. That throw's awful. How are we not intercepting that? What a play. Look at this. Look at that play call. Just all curls. You've heard of four verts? How about four curls? Wow. Interesting uh, from, from Arthur Smith. All right, kind of risky here going, going man. Because we do, we do tend to get burned on man. Hey, oh, Kyle. This is what I was talking about. Him. What a play. If there's ever a time we're relatively vulnerable defensively, it's when we do drop into man. I don't know if it's just because how aggressive our, uh, our our defenders are. I, I don't know, but we do seem to give up the big play quite a lot, and he, even just like chunk plays. Maybe not necessarily the big play, quote unquote, but definitely chunk plays. They seem to they seem to happen a lot when we're in man. All right, I would love to hold him here, guys. Because they're going to get the ball, so I, I don't want them. I do not want them to score and then turn around and get the ball again. Let's try and keep some momentum. I mean, Ritter, Ritter's kind of hurt himself with throws like that and some of these other throws we've seen. But Atlanta is kind of moving the ball, which I'm not happy about. All right, we're going to send some heat. We're going to send a little heat here. Come on now, Debar. Oh man. Oh no, guys. Oh, high ran tried. That was embarrassing. I mean, that that is embarrassing. You hate to see that. I mean, we we were getting rolled that entire drive. All right. I mean, it's the same situation where now they get the ball. You know, in 20 seconds, we're kicking off to them. If they score on that drive, 13 plays, 74 yards. Are you kidding me? You know, we kick off to them. They score. All of a sudden, it's 21-17. <sighs> Man. Brutal. All right, Ugo. Go ahead, Ugo. Go ahead. Slip. Oh, no slip. No slip. All right, do we test it with Jameis? Let's, let's throw it. Let's do a little... Let's do a little route here. Let's do a little route and a half. We got a timeout. You know, why not? Slot seam. Who's in the slot? Hey, uh, okay, Traquan. We'll throw Shahid out on the streak. We'll take a look at both. And then, you know, we have a... All right, Traquan. Ah, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Oh, Traquan went up. We got timeout, so I'm trying to kind of complete a pass, call a timeout, see what we can do. Probably wasn't the best play call. All right, play action read. 11 seconds is not much. Kind of got to do this quick. 
Right, we're gonna we're gonna get sneaky. We're gonna send Shahid on the street, try and confuse everybody, including myself. All right, I think he's gonna be open. I think he's open. I think he's open. Put it on him, Jameis. Oh, he's open. Oh, Jameis. Oh my God. That was amazing. What a throw. What an absolute dime. Wow. Oh my God, what a throw. What a throw, what a catch, what a hot route by me. Wow, Jameis Winston. Let's take a look, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm sitting here, y'all saw what the play call was. I decide, you know what, let's let's do the back door. Let's get Rashid hot route on a streak and hope the safety shades to the middle of the field with everyone else. Because Michael Thomas is going crosses, Jawan's going that way. So let's take a look at the safety. What does the safety do? He goes to Michael Thomas, exactly what I thought. So once I saw the safety bail and go to Thomas, I thought, well, Rashid's going to have a step. You know, Rashid's going to have a step on his defender. So all he's got to do is get past the safety. I'm looking at the safety here. Boom. And, and again, everyone keeps saying, don't drop back so far. Look at, look at the feet. Look at the, look at the confident feet in the pocket. Drops back barely at all. Look at that. Really no drop back. Just kind of running the play. I mean, maybe it takes a step. But once I see right here, so right here, I'm thinking, okay, okay, Rashid is past the safety, right there. The safety is now with Mike, so now I'm just waiting, getting Rashid some timing. I know he's going to run, and then it's all up to Jameis. Now Jameis lets it rip here. Beautiful, not, not a hesitation in the world, and then what a pass. Rashid gets a, barely a step. I mean, barely a step on 21. 21, you know, what? I mean, a hell of an effort. And then couldn't have placed it any better. I mean, Jameis couldn't have walked it down there any better. Wow. Jameis Winston, have a game. Have a game. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Now, after that, I mean, Jameis probably has, what, 230, 240 yards in the first half? I, I might try and get Jameis 500 yards passing. He's at 203. Okay, not as many as I thought. I thought, I thought he'd have closer to, like, 250. If he had like 250, I'd probably, I'd probably say, you know what, let's do it again. I might still push. I might try and get 400 yards passing with Jameis. Really nice stuff. All right, they're going for the yeah the kneel. Okay. Wow, what a play! What a play from Alave. I mean, Alave just. I mean, not Alave. Rashid. I mean, Rashid just with the step, the burner. Oh man, I feel good about that half. I mean, that, that's that's. And, but, but again, you know, we talk about, like, the difficulty and all that stuff, whatever. But think about it, ladies and gentlemen. The same thing happened with Los Angeles. The Rams were driving. We knew they were going to get the ball to start the second half. And our defense forced a turnover that completely swung the game. Right there. Atlanta's driving. Atlanta scores. It's 21-10. to 10. We're kicking off to Atlanta. If Atlanta, you know, I, I could have easily said, eh, 20 seconds left. Let's just go ahead and, you know, kneel it out. Let's just go ahead and. You know, take it to the half and, and hope our defense can hold. All of a sudden, then it's 21-10. Atlanta gets the ball. Who knows what will happen? Demario. Oh, Demario. But I say, you know what? We got timeouts. Let's make something happen, Cap. And then boom. Right there. That's why, you know, to go back to real life, whenever I see teams do that, like in the Saints, the Saints do that all the time. Where in that situation, they would just kneel it out. And I always ask myself, what do you think the defense wants you to do? The, in that spot, the Falcons were dying for me to say... They were dying to go to the half. So they were hoping, they had their fingers crossed, that I would just take it to the half and kick the ball off to them. They didn't want me to throw it around. They didn't, they didn't want me to take shots. And, and, and that's exactly why. So, I mean, again, you know, some of it is just my unbelievable game awareness, unbelievable game sense, unbelievable play calling, understanding matchups. You can't teach that. You can teach shading over the defense in Madden. You can shade... I mean, you can teach how to do audibles and line movements and all kind of stuff in the game. You know, all the, all the sweaty Madden meta stuff. But you can't teach just pure football understanding. Full, pure knowledge of the game. And that's what we have going on. That's why we're 15 and 1. Three tight ends set. Middle of the field. They're down 18. Three tight ends set. And we're in a goal line defense because they're set. All right, let's go 4-6. We're going to blitz again. 4-6 mid-blitz. Send it again. 
All right, I'll play Tyran here. I'm crashing on any kind of a run play. Crashing on a run. Okay, I'm dropping back now. All right. Okay. Let's get a stop here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get a stop. Let's get the ball back in Jameis' hands. All right, three running back, zero tight end, two wide receiver set. This has, like, Cordero Patterson sweep written all over it. Yeah, Cordero Patterson's in the slot. They got the fullback Bijan out there. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking a Cordero sweep to the right here. Oh, almost, almost. Good job Cam. Good job Cam. All right, let's go second and twelve. Uh, let's go linebacker sting one. I do like sending a little bit of pressure, you know, on, on spots like this. Man, went back to Bijan. Didn't see that coming. The tackle for Pete. Bijan being held. You know, good game from the defense, per usual. Run defense is probably, I would say, our specialty. All right, let's go. Cover two invert. There we go. Desmond Ritter. Third and six. Exactly the spot we want him in. Bull rush from Cam. Desmond just duck hooks it. Throws an outside splitter. Horrible. Not good. Not a good player. All right. He messed up. He's, get, he's giving the ball back to me. Ooh, wow, what a punt. Looked like a like a shank. Yeah, it was a horrible punt. Rashid, seven receptions, 176 yards, and two touchdowns. Can Rashid break the single season? What, what's the single season record? Somebody tell me. What's the single season receiving record? I mean, we, we got to be pretty close. All right. Where's Rashid? Well, let's take a look at him deep. Why not? Let's take a look. Ah, the safety's going his way. Check it down. Oh, Kendra. Yeah, the safety was the safety was not letting that happen. I didn't like that play call. I, I didn't like the play. I didn't like anything about it. All right, let's get Taysom out there. Yeah, Rashid, what a game. I mean, I, and, and it's crazy to think. I said earlier I was concerned about Rashid. Just goes to show the power of the team. You know, I said, hey, I'm kind of concerned about Rashid taking over for Alave. That's probably the biggest question mark. And I even said, you know what? Let, let's try and get him involved. Let's try and get him doing some things. Let's try and get him, you know. And then look what happened. All right. Kind of looking Big Mike here. Oh, yeah. There it is from Big Mike. Oh, what? Oh. Damn it. Damn it. Talked myself into it. Damn it, man. Talked myself into it. I was too focused on Mike. Got the route jumped. Damn. I mean, he just, that was just timing. That was, that was ah, that's on me. That's on me. I was too focused on Mike. To Mario. That's a me mistake. That's a me mistake. But, you know, it's a Jameis thing, too. You know, Jameis will do that. It'll happen. It is what it is. I feel bad. I feel bad right there. We had so much momentum. And then, I made, you know, horrible mistake. Oh, Kalen, get there. Oh, man, Kyle Pitts was wide open. Wide open. Desmond Ritter just completely airmailed that one. Let's go cover three cloud in the dime formation. Okay. I remember back in the day, you could take your defensive end and move them to the other side of the line and just basically get a free rusher and like mad no six. I mean, look at these throws. One season, I had LeVar Arrington. I'm, I did that every game. I would take my left end right before the play. I'd drag him across to the right side. He'd be a free rusher. LeVar Arrington had like 200 something sacks that season. Won the MVP. I mean, that, that's when... I mean, it's crazy to think about like, the old days of Madden. Like, uh, one of the early Saints franchises. Like, 2000, Madden 2004, 2005. Dante Stallworth I had as my wide receiver. Every play, I would run the I-form. It was like play-action streaks, basically. And, the, I mean, like, 80% of the time, the defense would just get caught with the play-action. And Dante Stallworth was like 97 speed. And so I would just throw deep balls to Stallworth. He had 400, 500 yards a game. That, that's what Madden was all about back then. 
you know, finding like one play that worked, and then just running it for 14 straight seasons. Same thing with NCAA. I used to run the option. I, I, did, I would do full franchise, like 30 year franchise where I just ran the option. You know, never throw a pass. Just go undefeated for three decades. Let's get Shahid back in the ball. Let's get James throwing it around a little bit more. I got I to wipe off that, that interception. I'm not happy about that. All right, we're looking at Shahid. Okay. James has got to float that one. Oh, Shahid. Oh, my God. What a catch. Shahid. That was a user catch, by the way. But what a catch. Shahid. I mean, I knew James had to float it over the linebacker. He gets crushed. Absolute duck hunt. Super Nintendo. Then user catch. Very nice. All right, now let's do the good old fashioned play action sprint halfback flat. Everyone knows this play. Love this play. All right, good stuff. Yep. And we, we just run it. Oh, Jameis, look at Jameis. Look at the wheels. Look at the wheels. Jameis. Jameis slide into second base, brother. Slide with your feet. Jameis. Why did you, why did you do it like that? This is an offense. I mean, this really is an offense right here. There it is. Boom, Mike. Good throw. Good throw, good read, good route. Put your fours up. I cannot believe the Rashid Shahid game we're watching. Unreal. Okay. Uh, let's get, let's go, let's do the taste and play. I like it. Yep, we're going to run it. Hopefully it's as open as it has been. It is. Oh, 50. Oh, Taysom. Taysom was skating right there. I was on ice. All right. Uh, let's see. Weak. Play action boot shot. We're kind of looking for Shahid in this little crossing pattern here. The tricky play. Oh, my God. Right there. Just trying to get Adam involved. 12 for 16, 241. Most of that to, to Shahid. All right, let's see. Third and five. Uh, mesh spot. I like this little route from Shahid here. The kind of dig route right in the middle of the field. We're looking for that. We're looking for Drake one if it's not there. Um, damn it. That was... Oh, man. Damn, it was never open. I'm not even watching that back. That was just a mistake. I mean, look at that. Right there. Traquan was open. And I just tried to force it to Shahid. No, no, I mean, no excuse. No excuse. That, that is what happens, though, when someone has over 200 yards receiving. You just kind of look at them and you force them the ball. Damn. Come on, man. I, I got to get, I got to, I got to be better in the playoffs. I mean, I'll tell you that right now. I got to be better in the playoffs. I cannot, I can't have these kind of interceptions, especially red zone interceptions, come playoff time. Just can't happen. Ooh, a blitz beater right there. Threw it to the guy that was, uh... yeah, look at that. You know, takeaways, none today. Man, got to be better. Got to be, got to be better. That's, I mean, just on me, you know, just all on me. Cam. Ah. A lot of short routes. And I guess you have to with Desmond, but. Okay. Damn, I'm going to be thinking about that. I'm going to be thinking about that interception. All right, here we go. Come on, Cam. Get there, baby. Nope. Man, not the same. Okay. Guys. All just short. Let's see. Let's go nickel. Cover two man. We're, we're going to go man, I think, the rest of the game. Just because of these short routes. They're just eating up the zone. Oh! Pete, right off the chest. Let's go. Let's go. 4-3. 4-3. Uh, cover one contain. I like this. I like this a lot. I like this a lot. Cam, full rush. 
Kind of, sort of. Hold? Gotta be a hold. Gotta be a hold. Yes, sir. We're backing him up. We're backing him up. Yeah, Jake Matthews. Back him up. Okay. Uh, one hole press. Okay, here we go. Greg London must be hurt. I just noticed that. Oh, man. Kalen. Oh, a fumble. What? I guess he was throwing. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I got a lot of questions. All right, we're going dollar. Cover one, Robert Press. We're sending a linebacker. We're sending DeMario. I will be DeMario. If I can get on him. Okay, I can't get on DeMario. All right, couldn't get on DeMario. Couldn't find him. Couldn't access him. Let me look at that. Marshawn, brother. Marshawn. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Mac Hollins. Just absolutely gassed. Marshawn. Mac Hollins. We go into man. Boom. Just gets completely ripped. We're in a one possession game. If he makes this, we're in a one possession game. Because of my interceptions and because of our inability on 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 man. But we're kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't. Where if we run zone, these little curls and ends and quick routes are just going to eat us up. Oh, man, Marshawn, you got to be better. We can't have Mac Hollins doing you like that, my man. Ugo. Disappointing. Disappointing performance right now in the, in the second half. Let's get back to running the ball. Let's get back to running. I, I fell in love with I fell in love with throwing the ball all over the place and the big numbers, but let's get back to running. I mean, we're up. Let's not forget we're winning. Oh, Kendrick. Thought he was about to spin out of that. Right. Here we go. Keep establishing the run. Just establish the run. Slow the game down. Win the game. Let's get to the playoffs. Ah. This is very similar to the last game of the year where the team is just kind of taking matters in their own hands. You know, we're, we're out here trying to trying to nurse a nurse a lead and all that, and we're trying to, you know, the next thing I know, the team is trying to throw for 500 yards. Right, come on, Kendra. Okay. Good job on the line. Oh, Kendra. All of his line had quite the hole there. Let's go to the screen. Let's go to the screen. Uh, there it is. I feel good about this. This is going to be a great screen pass. This is going to be multiple yards. There it is. Set up. Yep. All right. Uh, I guess I mean my multiple, I mean uh, negative two. Who is 55? Ellis? Hell of a play. I mean, they were, they were in a good defense for it, so. Let's, again, let's not let's not get crazy. Let's do what we came here to do. Run the football. We're gonna go to the two-minute warning. We're gonna go to the two. We're gonna go to the two. We're gonna be smart here. We're gonna be smart. Be smart. All right. I can't believe this is one possession game. I I I I'll tell my I, I'll give you that. I am not afraid to let a big lead slip. That is true. That is definitely true. All right, need a first down here, Kendra. Need it. Need it like air to breathe. Oh, Jawan. Oh, my God. Ryan. Ryan Ramchek didn't hold his block. Jawan Johnson with a beautiful block downfield. Okay, play action cross. Best play we've got. Bless, best play we've got. Shahid. It's there. They're sending heat. We're, we are not good at picking up a blitz. Oh, it's horrible throw. That was, that was on Jameis. That was 100% on Jameis. That was a horrible throw. That was a terrible throw. Poor accuracy. Jesse Bates. I can't believe this. I mean, this, this is open, too. I mean, Jesus. I mean, Jamie, I mean, he's there. I mean, you know. That was on Jameis. No doubt. All right. All right. Overload blitz. Send the heat. The Pete Werner here. All right. No. User cut stick. Well, the good thing is that we cannot lose on this possession. We obviously don't want the game to be tied, but we have a bend, don't break defense. I cannot believe with the way this game is going, 
Have we scored in the second half? Oh, big play. Pete Werner, fumble, DeMario. Huge. Oh, my God. I mean, that, that's the season right there. That is exactly how this whole season is going, where I've dominated the parts of the game. I let the lead slip. The defense bails me out. I mean, that's the game. I mean, that's pretty much the game. That was huge. And then, oh, Kendra. Oh, my God. I thought he was outrunning. I mean, I, I I can already see the comment section now. And I deserve it. I deserve I deserve some heat. I deserve some heat for how, for the interceptions. No doubt about it. I, I do. Oh, can, oh, my God. Stop and start. I 100% deserve some heat there. I kind of want to throw a throw a pass here. But I'm not going to. Kind of I kind of wanted to, but I'm not going to. Not gonna lie to anybody. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's get back to our bread and butter, the good old-fashioned halfback stretch. Run it down. Try and kick a field goal. You know, get a couple yards here. Kick a field goal. Be good to go. Run the clock down. They have no timeouts. Kick a field goal. We'll be good. Man, this. I mean, this really is an encapsulation of the whole season. Okay, there we go. Good job. Adam. Oh, oh, Kendra. Good stuff. Good stuff. Very nice. All right, line up for it, Lutz. Kick it with no time on the clock. In in reality, you would not kick this, obviously. You'd be, you'd be worried about a block. You'd be worried about, you know, all that stuff. So this is strictly just for, uh, you know, the video game. Wow, I, I thought it was gonna. I thought if I started the thing, it would let me kick it. So I got to remember that. I got to remember that for the playoffs, that you've got to do the meter before the the clock. I thought once you click go, that that was the play starting. Whew. Okay. Whatever. What a performance there. We got to win. It was what it was. That was that was really something else. I mean, if we look at the player stats. Jameis ends up very Jameis type. We we had like 210 yards or something in the first half. Our second half, we were terrible. We had like 30 yards passing, maybe. Three interceptions all in the second half. So Jameis ends up wild that Desmond Ritter ends up having almost the same amount of yards. Better game overall, pretty much. Uh, rushing, Kendra, 14 for 77. He was good. Jamal, 4 for 15, kind of whatever. Taysom was good. Uh, receiving, obviously, Rashid he was absolutely insane. Eight receptions, 204 yards, two touchdowns. I don't know if he had a catch in the second half. Oh, yeah, he he, he did. He obviously did. But, yeah, would he have, like, 170 in the second half? Uh, Kyle Pitts ended up at 5 for 53. Okay, so, you know, I mean, it is what it is. There, It, it, it is what it is. Woo, okay. A lot to like. But a lot to not like, for sure. I uh, was not happy with the second half. I thought the team went to sleep. I uh, thought the team was concerned about stats and concerned about records and concerned about things like that. They almost let the game slip. So that's just something we can't do. Uh, you know, we want to be a team that's that's trying to make a run. I mean, we are we are the one seed. We're 16-1, and one, a good regular season. But seeing mental mistakes like that, you hate to see it. Uh, the interceptions, you know, obviously Jameis is thrust into a situation where he's not used to, where he's starting, and he's you know hasn't played all season. But... Still, you hate to see those mistakes, especially in the red zone. And then again, you know, not, not scoring in the entire second half. We didn't score in the second half. We cannot do that in playoff football games. You, you do that in the playoffs, you lose. It's that, it's that simple. So we are where we want to be. You know, we wanted to get the bye. We wanted to get home field advantage. We got those things. It's all in front of us. And now we have to be, we have to be good. So now we wait. Uh, luckily, we get the bye. So we'll see what happens in the wild card round and then who our opponent will be back here in the Superdome. So... You know, the teams get a break. Uh, we get a bye week, and they, they deserve the break. We should be rested. We should be good to go. You know, obviously, we're still down a couple players, but Rashid Shahid today showed just how how good our team can be. So I'm, I'm happy for him, happy he got a chance to to really be spotlighted and highlighted, and he took advantage of it. So it's good to see that, but, but we're focused now on uh, our ultimate goal, which is the playoffs. All right, let's go ahead and uh, advance the week, shall we? Advance the week to the wild card. Let's take a look at the situation and who we play. Or I guess who, who we possibly could play. All right, here we are. 
All right, let's look at the bracket. So the bracket is set. So we are the one. Uh, Dallas is the two. The Rams are the seven. Frisco's the three. Atlanta's the six. Interesting. Uh, the Vikings are the four, and the Eagles are the five. So we've played the Vikings, beat them twice, uh, and then the Rams, we beat them as well. We have not played Dallas, Frisco, Minnesota, or the Eagles. On the other side, the Chargers are the one. Then you have the Ravens, Steelers, Bills, Chiefs, and Titans sneak in there. The Raiders have been there uh, all year long, so the Titans end up sneaking in. So we're going to sim the wild card and see who we face in the next round. But first, we will upgrade the players. Okay, A.T. Perry gets the upgrade. Not totally sure why. Not sure what he's doing. I don't think he's caught a pass all year. But hey, if he's in the film room, you know, he gets a point. So, all right. So we, all right, have we, let's see. All right, so the playoffs, yep, they're all set. Just making sure we're not simming anything out of order. So let's go ahead. Now we will sim this round. Go to the next round. All right, so advance the week to the divisional. Yes. Yes, okay. So, oh, the Falcons. Wow, okay. So the Falcons, so they they upset. It was an upset, right? Yeah, they upset. The, damn, Atlanta put it on them. 42 to 17. Jesus. Uh, Dallas wins, squeaks by, a lot of upsets. So Philly upsets Minnesota, and then oh yeah, we we did play Minnesota. Okay, I, I said we didn't play Minnesota. We did play them. That was a very intense game. Philly upsets Minnesota. Atlanta upsets Frisco. So we play Atlanta again in the divisional. Third time we're playing them. On the other side of the bracket, a little bit more chalk. Uh, the only team to be upset was the Titans. Uh, the Bills win, and then the Ravens win. So over there is the one versus the five, the two versus three. On my side is the one versus six and two versus five. So playing the Falcons in the divisional, interesting, very interesting. We get Atlanta back to back. So on one hand, I feel good because we've beat Atlanta twice. We know what they can do. We know Desmond Ritter is not very good. Uh, on the other hand, we almost blew the game last last week or last two weeks ago, and they just put up 42 points. So they're playing pretty well. So in the next game, we will play the divisional playoff game in the Dome against the Atlanta Falcons. Thank you very much for watching. Go down in the comments below. Give me your thoughts on the game. Give me your thoughts on the season, the, the everything. Hope you're enjoying it as much as I'm enjoying playing it. Uh, the Saints Madden franchise has been an absolute huge success. This channel has been very successful. Uh, it's all because of you. So thank you very much. So I will see you in the next episode in the playoffs against the Atlanta Falcons in the divisional round of the NFL playoffs.